this is just a comment I'm going to give in respect to the video bow. It's it will apply it applies to to the two watches I got. And the third one, which I'm still coming, waiting to come. One of which is um, known as a chance. Basically, you do, folks, understand that this is a rant of insanity. You do understand that. And I'm sure you do understand that this is a scenario which is out of mentally ill Prince, now King Charles from London, that he was behind this guy. That this is a British school, basically, of individual curse his life, basically, make enemy out of entire fucking world. You do understand what the fuck this is about. You do, right? The people that involved in stuff like this, you understand what this is about. From one country to another, turning based on a physical torture, on a killing, on a butchery, literally, on a human butchery. You understand what this is about? This is what this is about. To buy a kita, Thai princess, I'm only going to say like this. I'm going to say, I'm going to say to you like this. First of all, I don't understand why you are doing it stuff like this, why this kind of stuff is necessary. Uh, the video above about this watches was interpreted to me during MK Ultra by the British alone, by the London. They used the psychiatrist Peter Kopsch. They hired this Slovenian police officer, basically assassins, killers, real killers, assassin, murderer, you know, fucking go inside your house and fucking fuck you or is going to have your car steer the fucking road like they did to me in 2007 it was a police plot it was a police assassination plot it was a people from the Nova Mesto police investigators who plotted assassination there's absolutely no doubt about who was behind this stuff it's like this your grandfather was a violent thug. This great king Pombal of Thailand was a violent, domestically violent at home thug who would yell, scream uh, like the most violent, schizophrenic, paranoid you possibly can imagine you would encounter. Something like I have seen my father was doing. Um, he was so fucking violent, he was so loud in his violence, and by Rakita, by the way, knows this very good, as well as his son, Maha, who eventually calmed him down, because a grandpa started to act like totally, totally insane, sometimes like in 2010, this man was completely, completely out of control. Uh, it was nothing other than domestic violence. He was becoming more and more and more and more violent. Um, with his wife, I'm glad I was next to him and her uh, beginning 1995. If I was near, if I was there, he already controlled himself somehow. Uh, but over the course of the time, his domestic violence, domestic violent outbursts took control over him. He went straight to what he was his entire life. But it's interesting, it's like my father, outside, outside of the home, he was um, extremely polite, extremely, um, yeah, and this and that, and so on. Uh, why you are doing this?
you're doing this for for a reasons which I already specified on the website, on the news site. You are doing this because it's your way of life. You're doing this because you can only live really in Thailand. You're not capable. You're not. You don't have ability to survive elsewhere than in Thailand. Um, what I mean by this is that if you were here in Slovenia, you wouldn't be really here. It would be your daddy that would be here. It would be your daddy. It simply would be your daddy. You wouldn't be here. The only place that you can really be with a credit card which pays whatever you wish to have. That's Thailand, basically. As for elsewhere, it's a daddy. You physically present, yes, but it's a daddy, really. I'm not used to a life such as credit card. I never paid bills with a credit card. I paid bills of the US with a credit card of the US government have stolen me. $60,000 in savings, leaving me with a car smashed. Going from door to door through Scandinavia, applying for the job and stuff like this. Canada, where I went to file for political asylum. Minneapolis, Chicago. Bellingham, Florida. Göteborg. Bergen, door to door, door to door, door to door, entire city, big cities. That's when I started to pay with a credit card. I started to pay with a credit card because I was not allowed to report myself absolutely anywhere. To receive any kind of money, any kind of support, any fucking dime, anything. And uh, before I would want to pay with a credit card, I'd have put myself a rope around my neck and jump, kill myself before I would start paying with a credit card. Because here I. Pay with work. I save an account. I my car. I my house. I my castle. I my factory. I my plane. I work. I live to work. I live to know what I have under control, not to have a control freak inside of my pocket on a credit card. A freak inside of my pocket does not fit up so fucking lovely anywhere. You understand? Even if this is worth four bucks, is worth more than the entire world. Not only Thailand. I'm the person who likes to know every for every fucking cent where it goes. I'll continue to be like this. For the joy of the British, for the British to demonstrate the world and the strength, the might of corruption, the ability to murder, to assassinate, 
to the most horrific ways, ways that go way beyond Stalin, way beyond their colonial, murderous, imperialist ways exercised against people in Africa, Asia, throughout Asia, and in Europe, and in South America, and in all parts of the world. When I start to carry a lunatic in my pocket, things are going to change. But as I stated, it's going to be rope around my neck before that's going to ever happen. I never drink alcohol. And because of the Prince Andrew, because of the King now Charles, I'll never be capable to drink alcohol. I thought that at my elderly age, actually, I'm going to allow myself to have a glass of uh, maybe chocolate liquor or something like this, spoil myself a little bit. But with a free lymphoma cancer I was given as a gift, as a cardiovascular problems, as a deep vein thrombosis, much thanks to you in Thailand, who use the connections through ICM to expand crime into other countries, which exercised crime on behalf of Thailand. There was no crime in Thailand against me till like physically intensive crime until like 19, 1990, 1998 maybe. But I know why exactly. No longer wanted to have anything to do with the Thailand. It became completely evident that British exercise together with the Germans, actually Central Intelligence Agency on behalf of Berlin and London, together they have exercised this time. Is what they claim on behalf of Thailand. Even that they knew nothing ever is going to come out of this. Just as Princess Bairakiti Ava and her father Maha and her grandfather and entire family prayed so that it would somehow add to uh, what they see basically as uh, Buddha, as a karma, like you know, uh, something that. Uh, you have to do anything, basically. Uh, evil destroys itself. Um, bad you do, bad you get. Good you do, good you get. It's a karma type of style. Uh, and, of course, because King Maha is a god. In Thailand, he is a god. He is considered as a god. There is no god. Uh, there is only God, King Maha, that's a father of Princess Bairakiti Appa. That's in Buddhism, that's how it is. Um, he had the ability to basically exercise this type of logic, uh, this uh, mightness, godliness, this... this um, if you want, as British don't want to be guilty, basically, Saxe, Kaburg, Gotha, Windsor, Battenberger, Mount Buttons, uh, with their Don Quixote, uh, comedy, drama, uh, idiotism, madness, mental illness, megalomaniac, megalomania, psychopathic tendencies which they have, they don't want to be solely blamed for and so on and so the Buddha took portion of it and Thailand redistributed this to others and so they can basically, I don't know, um, it's not cursed to murder someone 
if you uh, if you make the person murder himself, basically. That's a logic behind this Buddhism, I understand, in Thailand. Um, I am going to stop shortly here because for me, uh, this type of uh, way of thinking, this kind of attitude, this kind of... Um, This kind of behavior this kind of this kind of hooliganism you know what the hooligan is hooliganism hooligan punk it's where you go and you assault somebody elderly and you steal the money and you take off and uh, you go somewhere and uh, you step somebody and you're laughing at him and you take off and uh, you turn around and you shoot somebody in the back and you kick him to fell in some place and he disappears and uh, you go and you drop the bomb from the plane to burn maybe the city of a million below maybe two bombs like this or maybe you just go and you cut hands maybe for not satisfying your requirements like in Congo let's say British did or you just go and you just murder millions just for the fuck of it, just for the fun of it. This kind of hooliganism, this kind of bandit shit that took about 80 million lives 80 years ago. Talk about the Germany, neo-Nazi Germany. Uh, this is your God. This is your Buddha. But this is not my God. This is a hooligan. There is something like karma, they say. Listen, man, if there is God, and I believe it is, and I'm sure you're going to meet one. He will explain to you a little bit better about all this than what I did, but first for myself, this is just a waste of time, which is entertaining to mentally ill people who take for granted inheritance of abuse, ability to, to do stuff like this to people, to madden people, to, to ruin their lives. So they can apologize, basically, what is nothing other than, what was it? What were you doing with me over there in Thailand, together with the Slovenian police, with the psychiatrists and stuff like this? We're going to stop shortly here. Of course, I also hope that with my pointing at you, um, at Prince Charles, Berlin, London are going to pay you your share because this, this should be really, really helpful at the United Nations. It should give you like extra points because it's like you can use the diplomacy. You can go tomorrow, you can say, well, he said this against this one and he said that against that one. Oh, that can't be. Can, this case can't be admitted. can be admitted. So continue to save me, basically. The saving procedure itself was such that you are you understand that you are satans, that you are diabolical. You you do understand that your Buddha is gonna fuck you up.
If there is a Buddha, this Buddha is going to fucking burn you. I didn't kill the Thai king. As a matter of fact, queen. Like I was taught by the video of Bo, it's going to be uh, titled this, uh, how you're going to do the video for me, how I kill Thai queen. And it was in Thai people, that you killed our queen. If you believe in justice, if you believe in justice, and I'm just trying to understand this because as a humanity we have to strive to work common solutions and, and uh, the stuff the stuff that you did, the stuff that you did is completely indifferent from from the Nazis, from the people that try to exterminate. You don't fucking understand anyways. It's a waste of time talking about the sea issues. For you don't care about destroying trust. You get paid by the London for destroying trust. They pay you for you to destroy, for you to shit. On a human trust so that you can collect your fucking money so that you have the money so that you have that you can't that you can do more and it can be more successful because the human trust human trust is let me tell you something human trust is a shit human trust is not worthy shit doing stuff like this to people this is just what the world should be about and by doing this kind of stuff the world also we understand that Adolf Hitler was a really, really good person, and he had not done absolutely anything. Because you understand that that's what the fuck you're doing with the stuff you're doing. You do understand that. That the, the procedures that you are enforcing against me make those that murdered hundreds of million people look good. You do understand this, because you're a different race, like I am. You don't understand that we have a dialogue we should never ever have. You don't. I know. And you don't care, really. I get that too. So, I hope that... Tomorrow, because you really worked hard on this project that life is going to be way better for you with your diplomats are going to be uh, it's going to be more like uh, accomplished your mission you really they should pay you they should award you for what you did for what you accomplished you worked very very hard for it you you earned it um you should be awarded. You are part of the London. You are that part that uh, powers, that is an engine of this, that, that, that just is, uh, you know. You know, work together, you know, a team, you know, a teamwork. You, you are part of it. And. I don't know what to tell you. Congratulations. I still wish you all the best. Um, because trust me, you're going to need this. You're going to need it. Your generations are going to need this.
I am shocked. Um, but this year, this was one of the best purchases I did. With this watch here, this says chance. This one is going to fly into the trash bin. I'm gonna not going to have this watch. This is going to go to the trash bin, this watch. Um, this this year this watch this year this chance this this chance this year this in my eyes this this presents the ultimate derision for for human life it, it presents like an ultimate uh disgust it presents like an ultimate anger hatred the most something most disgusting i possibly can imagine i can't imagine anything more disgusting than a watch right there if that's a chance, thank you for your chance. Thank you. Thank you very much for your chance. That's a chance. I am not going to be looking for your chance, through your chance. I will continue. I will continue to leave my way. I will continue to struggle my way. Look as primitive as possibly I can to entertain you. Can be more happy it's good life is good it's fucking good especially with the lunatic inside of your pocket isn't it feels good feels good <laughs>